Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. We all know it's been hot uh, the last couple of days, very warm all week and also quite dry. The drought monitor actually showing up abnormally dry here uh, for the southern two-thirds of the state. It's really only northern Connecticut where we actually saw a bit more snow from some of our uh, most recent storms where we are still running all right when it comes to water. So we're dry across the state. It's not quite as windy as it has been over the last several days. Early morning pinpoint Doppler scanning dry, but this right here is an interesting feature out of the lower Hudson River Valley. And what that is is actually some wildfire smoke. And what's going on outside is that we don't have red flag warnings like we have over the last several days, but because it's so dry, even though we don't have the criteria to support a red flag warning, there's still an increased fire risk across the state. Outside of that, though, it is just hot outside. 86 right now in the Brass City. A live look at our ICAM in Waterbury showing how everything has just bloomed over the last couple of days. Very similar in our ICAM here in Rocky Hill. Look at how green these fields have gotten over the last couple of days. Just a week or so ago, everything sort of still looked brown. Not the case anymore, and not a surprise given how hot it has been. Record warmth yesterday and again today. 96 in Windsor Locks. That ties the warmest April day on record since 1905. And we'll be watching to see if that bumps up at all as we get a little bit later into the afternoon and evening uh, right here on Channel 3. 92 for the high today in Willimantic. Uh, 88 in Waterbury, 87 in New Haven, 86 in Bridgeport. So that's two 90 degree days so far for the Hartford area. The record for that was set back in 2020, 39 days at or above 90 degrees. The most recent April 90 degree day happened back in 2012. If you want more than one, you have to go all the way back to 2009. The earliest 90 degree day uh, happened on April 7th. It's happened three times, once in 1929, once in 1991. And in 2010, April 7th of 2010, we actually hit 93 degrees for the Hartford area. Our average first 90 degree day comes on May 30th. Now over the last six hours, we've been relatively quiet. Not much to chat about here. High clouds starting to build in. And that's all associated with these showers that you see here. Then are moving up through Virginia and West Virginia. That uh, will make its way here through the day tomorrow. Right now, though, we're just talking about warmth. 89 in Hartford and Albany, 90 in Scranton, down to 62 in Boston, 63 in Portland, Maine. That onshore wind, the sea breeze, really knocking temperatures back there. We will watch clouds thicken up a bit tonight. We begin the day tomorrow mostly cloudy. Showers and perhaps even a thunderstorm develop through the afternoon and evening. These will be hit or miss, but some of these downpours could be on the heavier side. Maybe a lingering shower into Sunday, but otherwise Sunday just looks to be a cloudy day before rain starts to return uh, later on. On Monday, and that's all associated with this area of low pressure near the Great Lakes. As the cold front sweeps through, that's going to bring our next chance for showers. And the low doesn't really move away too quickly on Tuesday, so we may see a lingering shower Tuesday. But the long term outlook is still going to favor temperatures running uh, slightly above average. So we still have more warmer weather on the way, although not quite, not quite as hot as we are uh, right now. Tonight, Partly mostly cloudy, unseasonably mild in the mid-50s for most. Tomorrow forecasting some 70s still inland, 60s at the shoreline. And then our uh, early warning seven day highlighting Monday, especially as the cloudiest day, breezy with rain showers, a lingering shower Tuesday, likely the coolest out of the next seven before a warming trend takes hold. By the end of next week, we're back to 70s and sunny.